the energy body is a part of your physical body right according to the teachings of our beloved teacher mahatma chuva kuksui the human body consists of two components the visible physical body and the invisible energy body or like in our culture we call it the stula shariram and the sukshma shariram we also refer to it as the andamaya kosha and the pranamaya kosha what affects one affects the other so if your energy body is dirty it obviously means that your physical body is dirty so one of the ways to clean your energy body is to clean your physical body so uh, what are the ways to clean your physical body one is to take a bath fundamental thing is to take a bath <laughs> not weekend to weekend <laughs> but take a bath every day or take a bath every time your body gets dirty no it depends upon the availability of water ah wash your hands regularly no before you eat food wash your hands regularly because more food goes in what goes in comes out so if the energy of the food that you eat is dirty then dirty energy will come out because food food gives you energy so if your hands are dirty and you eat food you are dirtying the food when you are taking it inside so you got dirty energy that's another way of keeping yourself so we call it hygiene no in so keep your hands clean you go to the toilet wash your hands uh, these are very important factors that one must be able to follow in life if you want to keep your body clean whether it's the physical body or the energy body both ways you have to keep it clean either way now another way to keep your energy body clean is not to allow it to be contaminated with negative energy with diseased energy with dirty energy how does it get contaminated like anything energy flows from higher level to lower level if you are in the company of people who all the time are negative who all the time think negative who all the time are depressed who all the time are anxious who all the time are you know cursing and speaking negatively who are pessimistic what will happen to you you also begin to get some negativity you also start becoming pessimistic you also start getting depressed no if you talk to a person on the in depression for more than 1 hour uh-huh. you will land up being depressed unless you know the technique how not to allow yourself to to be depressed eh? so physical hygiene is very important etheric hygiene is very important how do you maintain etheric hygiene don't let your energy to be contaminated by the environment don't go into with negative people don't go often to a negative place no like unnecessarily don't go to a police station don't go to a court room of course don't visit graveyards for no rhyme or reason and if you do make sure that you are you know the technique how to keep yourself clean once in a while if you do it you know your body knows how to self cleanse itself so that's why in the older days when you went to a graveyard and you came back you never entered the house there was a well outside the house you first took a bath you first took a bath changed your clothes and then entered the house the reason is because you when you go to a graveyard there is lots of negative energy and this negative energy contaminates your aura so taking a shower is one of the most effective ways to handle it but you can't keep taking shower the whole day long so better learn energy healing when you learn energy healing you learn how to keep your aura clean you learn how to keep your energy body clean you learn how to keep your chakras clean you learn to keep your energy in a vibrant and dynamic state not in a depressed and anxious state so that is about energy hygiene okay that's about the how physical hygiene and energy hygiene can be maintained how to clean your aura so there are many ways to clean the aura one is keep your physical body clean one is uh, keep your you know physical body clean take a shower wash your hands and all these things eat clean food very important because what goes in should be clean so eat clean food what is clean food preferably sattvic food but if it's not possible to eat sattvic food prefer to eat vegetarian food because vegetarian food has better energy positive energy the non vegetarian food has got negative energy there is energy of trauma there is energy of pain so prefer to be a vegetarian according to our teacher he says avoid pork no if you eat meat 
avoid pork completely avoid fish which has no scales avoid fish that has no scales to the very very minimal bring your consumption of alcohol avoid smoking completely these are very important if you want to keep it correctly clean otherwise what will happen these are negative things they go into your body as physical matter they come out as negative energy matter and they contaminate and disease they dirty your aura a dirty aura in turn dirty is the physical body in turn dirty is the mind in turn dirty is your thinking in turn brings in negative thought forms and the negative thought form will attract negative elements and then your behavior gets altered hallucinogenic hallucinogenic drugs do this effect you notice people start hallucinogenic drugs because they love the trip one of the ways that one can very effectively use to keep your etheric body clean of course taking a shower is good taking a bath is good but you can do what is called a salt water bath one of the ways to do a salt water bath is once a week go into the sea shore and take a bath in the sea very good in fact many of the cultures it is a recommended process there yeah. go to the sea 20 minutes in the sea yeah but make sure that the waves don't take you away yeah? <laughs> so you, you need to be careful about that and you need to be careful where because the sea shows nowadays are very dirty so you may get more sick than you were before huh? so you take a salt water bath another way to take a salt water bath is to add a fistful of salt i mean about quarter kilo of salt to a quarter bucket of warm water dissolve it nicely and after you take a shower soap and shampoo over then you pour that water on your body right from your head to your toes and rub it on your body nicely and wait for 5 minutes salt has the ability to disintegrate negative energy water has the ability to absorb it so therefore all the negative energy that is disintegrated is absorbed by the water and when you wash it out it goes down it contains water contains therefore you're clean a salt water bath is a very highly recommended process for most people another way to take a salt water bath is finish your shower soap and shampoo then take soft salt no table salt rub it on your body wait for some time and then wash it out salt water bath three ways to take a salt water bath one go into the sea 20 minutes in the sea once a week should be good enough if you have a lot of trauma in your life go every day nobody stops you but minimum once a week second take a shower every day dissolve quarter kg of salt in a bucket of uh, quarter bucket of warm water after you finish soap and shampoo pour it over your body wait for 5 minutes and then dab it off three after your soap and shampoo take soft salt rub it on your body wait for 5 minutes wash it off clear yeah yeah good i hope this will help you all to keep yourself etherically clean